I felt like a champion when I was 0-1 in the UFC. I felt like a champion when I was 3-3 and in the UFC fighting Will Choke for my pink slips. You know, I just, I just felt like a champion. You know, you can ask my, you can ask my team, ask my coaches, I, ask, ask my my wrestling coach Michael Nakagawa because he he always heard it. You know, I, I I talked about myself being a champion. That's, but that's just the attitude you need. You know, if you don't if you don't think you're the best, you don't believe you're the best in the world, then why you belong here? You know, and that's what that's what helps me makes makes me to walk. You know. Getting worked here up against the fence. The best you see, baby. Oh my, the no-look right hand! When I was walking to the octagon, I was just... I get nervous before every fight. And people actually you used to get nervous. I was like, oh, I'm human, you know? Last time I check, I know. If, if, if anybody, any sport, at any level, person in sport, tell you they don't get nervous before a game, they're straight up lying to you. Because if, they don't, if they're not getting nervous before a game, that means they know they didn't do enough. To, to get it done, you know, so they're accepting defeat already, so. I always try to finish fights, no matter what, even if you're the best guy in the world, I'm gonna try to finish you, and you always gonna see me in your face, I'm not gonna go away, because that's just it, you know, like, if I, if we fought to death, like, if there's no time limit, I'm good. like, I'm gonna kill you. Like, that's just my mindset, like, there's no way, I'm gonna figure out a way to make you tired and make you quit.